the Lake District in early March. After a winter of record rainfall and devastating floods, the spring sun makes a welcome return. The temperature in the valley finally reaches five degrees. Life starts to return to a small farm pond. The first to arrive are common frogs, males, emerging from hibernation. Most hatched here three or more years ago. Within hours, the water bubbles with amorous amphibians. The males croak to advertise their intentions. Each call carries 50 meters, and the combined chorus reverberates across the valley. It's not long before female frogs take up the invitation. Rough pads on the male's forearms give them a firm grip. They have to hold on. It can take hours for the females to spawn. The commotion attracts more than just female frogs. A grey heron. Herons hunt by stealth and sight, lining up for a lightning strike. With the frogs so keen to breed, they make easy targets. There's little they can do to defend themselves. But with so many frogs here, this heron makes little difference to the pond's growing population. The female frogs are now ready. Each produces hundreds of eggs. On contact with water, the jelly swells, creating a protective layer. Soon the pond brims with several cubic meters of spawn. As night falls, the frenzy of frogs continues to build. A dog otter has been checking the pond for the past few weeks, regularly traveling over 400 meters from the nearby river. Eighty percent of his diet is fish, but during the winter floods, they spread far and wide, making them hard to catch. This is what he's been waiting for. In the dark, he hunts by touch. Ignoring the eggs, he uses his whiskers to sense movement. He must consume up to 50 frogs every night. The otter is joined by a silent assassin, a tawny owl alert to the sound of stragglers on the bank. The frog feast is a welcome windfall at this time of year. Tawnies, too, are getting ready to breed. Remarkably, another otter makes the journey from the river. A mother and her two cubs. They quarter the pond, scooping up tired and distracted prey. The cubs are a year old and almost fully grown. With so many frogs about, the mother can look after herself, leaving her offspring to hone their hunting skills. 
Soon they'll strike out on their own. But perhaps they'll remember this seasonal bonanza. Within days, peace returns to the pond. Predators and prey may have gone, but hundreds of thousands of eggs remain to hatch later in the coming spring.